What up everybody, it's me, Blake316, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Sonic Forces. Now, a lot of people are interested in this Sonic Forces game, reason being, Sonic used to be a huge mascot for gaming back in the day in the Sega Genesis, Everyone loves Sonic. It used to be Sonic the Hedgehog versus the Mario Brothers. And now not so much anymore, reason being, Sonic had a lot of bad games recently. Um, but in me particularly, I really like uh, Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2 is really good for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, Sonic Elite was all right. A lot of people really loved uh, Sonic Mania, the last good Sonic game. But then there were some really bad games like Sonic the Black Knight or Sonic 06, which arguably one of the worst games of all time. But I was really interested in Sonic Forces, mainly because it reminds me of that Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 that I really enjoyed on the Sega Dreamcast. Now, when I get into this... Uh, a review. I'm going to start off by uh, talking about the main draw point of this game is the creative player. Now, Sonic has a lot or a huge fan base. People love Sonic to the point where they love drawing Sonic. They love making their own Sonic characters. They make their own Sonic art, comics, all types of crazy stuff. There's a whole other world of Sonic the Hedgehog that you guys probably don't even know of if you do your research. But people love drawing Sonic the Hedgehog. And like I said, they like making their own characters. And in this game, you make your own Sonic character. It has a, a creative player mode that you can create your own uh, superhero to try to beat the game with that's the kind of the main draw with this game and they're really trying to uh give that to the sonic fan base that's kind of always wanted that so i really feel like this game is trying to is trying to uh uh, tend to the, that Sonic fan base by trying to give them their 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 kind of quote, quote quote unquote dream of making their own Sonic character. With that being said, the the creative player is actually pretty cool. You can make different types of characters, such as like their genre. Uh, for example, it doesn't have to be a hedgehog. It can be a cat. It can be a bear. It can be a uh, I don't know, a dog. Like, there's a, quite a few different options. And add other things, you can pick the hair, the color, the skin, their eyes, their upper body, their shoes, etc. And once you actually play the game, you start playing with the character. But as you progress in the game, and you actually start beating missions, you actually get more unlockables of different customizations for your characters, whether it be new shoes, uh, whether it be headgear, whether it be face gear, whether it be uh, shirts, suits, etc. And so basically as you process, uh, progress through the game, you're constantly up, um, unlocking new different unlockables to dress up your character. With that being said, in this game, you play as a creative player. And kind of like a spoiler, Sonic, uh, kind of goes disappearing and I never realized how many Sonic characters in the Sonic world there are when you start seeing like Knuckles and Tails and Amy and, and Silver and all these other people. Like who are all these people? <laughs> but basically the funny thing is with all those characters they find some random person aka the creative player to help find Sonic. So you're going back and forth between levels where Sonic where he's trying to escape from where he was eventually taken to and then you're also uh, the creative player that you created trying to find Sonic. So you're bouncing back and forth between Sonic the Hedgehog and your creative player. As far as the levels, I mean, I find it to be fun. I'm not expecting this game to be a perfect 10. I'm not expecting it to be a nine. I'm not even expecting it to be an eight. I think a lot of gamers these days are spoiled of a game reviews that every game has to be a nine or a 10. Not necessarily. There are some really good, bad games, if that makes sense. But then again, this isn't a bad game in my opinion. I really like it. It has the levels, same levels of say Sonic Colors, uh, Sonic Venture 1 and 2 like I keep saying. Um, but one thing I noticed with this game is, uh, I have it on Nintendo Switch obviously as you see the game case here. This game is kind of hard to play on uh, portable mode. I feel like the game is a little too fast on the smaller screen. I, it's, it's not, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say it's hard to play or it's hard to keep track, but I don't know, it's just, it doesn't, it, it's just not a fun experience. I think the game moves a little too fast when playing it on the portable mode, on the portable mode, where like I can't, I'm not really seeing everything like I wanna see it. Everything's just going by so fast, smaller screen. I'm not really enjoying the background, that overall visual aspect of the game. As far as playing it on the TV, it's great. Like, it's just like those other games, like the Sonic Colors and the Sonic Adventures. It's those same type of world. Um, as far as uh, gameplay, is it hard? Not really. It's kind of a, it's kind of an easy game. I uploaded a video of a fail where, like, I'm kind of, like, you know, running in front of those Sonic typical derpy enemies where they're really made to just uh, be there for, like, chained events opposed to, like, actually trying to attack me. I don't think it's a hard game. All my deaths really came from me actually missing a jump, not actually dying from an enemy. That's kind of what all these Sonic games recently, just missing your jump and you die. Um, with that being said, 
the gameplay is fun. It's super fast. Whether, like I said, you play it on the, the portable or on a TV, if you buy the PlayStation 4 version or even the Xbox One version, you don't even have that option for portable, so that doesn't even that doesn't even uh, pertain to you. If you're playing on TV, it's a fun game. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, I thought I thought the creative thing was really cool, making your own little character. It's pretty in-depth, too. It give you def a lot of different... Uh, things to choose from and like I said as you play through the game you get even more things to unlock and to choose from it's a Sonic game these games like I said don't expect it to be an 8 or 9 or 10 it's not that it's 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 kind of cheesy at times but at the same time it's fun and if you liked uh, previous Sonic games you're gonna like this game if you hated those games you're not gonna like this game because it doesn't really bring anything new to the table other than that create a player um, with that being said I really enjoyed the game. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's not a, it's not terrible. It's not amazing, but it's fun to play, and I'm having fun with it. Uh, it's me, Blake Three One Six. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.